Outlaw Run is an RMC topper track wooden coaster located at Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. The ride opened in 2013 as the first of RMC's wooden coasters and still has the record for the most inversions on a wooden roller coaster with three. It is a fantastic location in the back of the park and you can really only see the lift hill from the ride's plaza while the rest of the ride is hidden in the wilderness. That makes this coaster an amazing night ride and it incorporates the terrain really well, like basically every other coaster at the park. The ride's theme is basically you are running away from the local outlaws in this insanely fast stagecoach, so your money doesn't get stolen, and the slogan for the ride is, the good guys will always win. It's a pretty loose theme with some minor theming in the station, and the trains vaguely look like a stagecoach from the side, but this ride doesn't need a lot of theming to impress riders. That impressiveness comes in the ride's stats with an 81 degree drop of 162 feet, speed of 68 miles per hour, three inversions, and a length of 2,937 feet. Now that we got the stats out of the way, let's see how it rides. The ride begins with an amazing 81 degree first drop, which launches riders out of their seat towards the back of the train, right into this overbank turn inversion, whipping riders out of their seat as well. Then goes into a powerful twisted airtime hill and another ejector hill before passing under the ride's lift hill with another twisted airtime hill. The coaster then speeds into a massive wave turn with some sustained sideways airtime before going into another ejector hill and leading riders into the hang time filled double barrel roll finale and hitting the final brake run. Overall, Outlaw Run is a relentless airtime machine. And while it is a pretty short ride, even compared to the other two RMCs I've done, Storm Chaser and Lightning Rod, it packs a major punch in those 30 seconds. I love the pacing and sheer speed of this coaster as it launches you out of your seat in the back, while also providing other forces like hang time in the ride's finale. In my RMC rankings, I have it right in the middle, above Lightning Rod, but below Storm Chaser. The reasoning I have for this is it's a little on the rough side, in the back and not quite as rewritable as Storm Chaser at Kentucky Kingdom, but it has those awesome inversions making it better than Lightning Rod at Dollywood. In the park I have, it, I have it just below Time Traveler due to that ride being just a pure fun experience and a little more rewritable. It also sits very high in my overall rankings just outside my top five at number six overall behind Diamondback. This is an amazing ride and contributes to what I think is one of the best top two coasters of any park in the world with this and Time Traveler. The ride is kind of hard to find just past the giant barn swing in this tiny area, but is an absolute must when going to Silver Dollar City and worth the trip there alone. Be sure to subscribe for more content and be on the lookout for more Silver Dollar City videos in the near future.